phone the city tomorrow and the city's going to check if you had a permit. Yeah, that's great. And then if there is a permit, um, we're going to find out. Okay. And uh, I don't even need to know you your names. Have a beautiful day. We appreciate your I concern. think I Take will. Care. I think I will. But you're also trespassing on his property now, right where he's standing. Sorry, right so where he's standing. Is it gay? Where that, that guy in the, in the hoodie. Is it gay? No, but it goes. No, no, no. But it goes. Right, 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 we we right, appreciate right, your concern. He's right there. He's right there. Thank you so much for your concern. You have a wonderful day. Where's the owner? Where's the owner? Have a great day. No, 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 no. I'm going to have a great day, but you know what? There are rules to be abided by. My that's, husband that's works wonderful. for the fire department, and when that's, I get back that's to great. Him, If we have a fire, we'll give you a call. <laughs> and then as a Canadian Karen, she interrupted the set of a music video that was being produced in a town called Oakville, Ontario, which is just southwest of Toronto. We did some internet sleuthing through some of the yard signs to figure out where this was, but the dead giveaway that this had to be Canada was in how polite that she said, excuse me, sir, at the beginning, and then how politely they responded when she said, well, my husband works for the fire department, and they said, well, if we have a fire, we'll be sure to give you a call. Uh, this video, since it's been posted on TikTok by Jiggy Suave, who is the musician and all this. This video has gotten more than 3 million views. Uh, a lot of the comments have been hilarious. Some people say, well, some people are just born miserable. Uh, somebody else suggested that Jiggy Suave use a clip from this, a snippet of this video at the beginning or end of his music video. And Jiggy Suave responded saying, well, she'd probably get us locked up for that. Now, all of us have bad days, even Canadians. Wait, do Canadians have bad days? Well, in any case, some of us here in the United States certainly have had bad days. And maybe for some of you, maybe even for me at one time or another, there was somebody who was blocking the street, cars parked where they're not supposed to be. There was an inconvenience in terms of the sidewalk being blocked. So there are a couple of options there in that situation. When I was living in New York City, it happened a lot because of the movies and commercials that are being filmed. I usually wasn't angry about it, but if I was, I would still try to approach it the same way and go up and be curious and kind and say, hey, what you guys doing here today? What are you filming? Now, the crew may not like having some strange passerby wondering what they're doing and perhaps interrupting them, but they would almost always feel obligated to respond. They're on the public sidewalk or on the street, and they say, oh, we're filming for whatever it is. And then there's an exchange of information. You have a rapport, and then based on that rapport, then you can start to dig and say, oh, well, you know, did you get the permits from the cities? You know, how long are you going to be out here? How is this, you know, is this the appropriate way to do things? And there's a genuine and respectful exchange of information instead of one that comes across as... Karenicity. And you never want to project Karenicity. Even if you're annoyed, kill them with kindness. Use a smile to get the information you're looking for and to start this exchange. Don't go zero to 60 in no time flat. It doesn't look very good. And the fact of the matter is we now have to assume, and we should assume, it's good for society to assume, that there are cameras everywhere even in Canada. So when you're dealing with a postal man that maybe you don't like, or a delivery service, or somebody's doing some utility work, or there's a movie being filmed on your street and there are two cars that are blocking the way, smile, be kind, and imagine that you're on camera, that you're being recorded. Because the moment you start to look mean, or you start to look crazy or unhinged, then you go viral on the internet. And again, it even happens in Canada. So beware. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.